baby. Shark doo doo. What up, chat? Ah, f- Wait, is it no, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Ah, oh, saw so gamer. I thought my um, camera wasn't working. But good news, it is. As you can tell by my highly blurred depth of field. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry about no streams. Um, here's the funny thing. I worked ahead. Like a boss. This Monday, whole Monday spent working. Boom, boom, boom. I had like the whole week's content almost ready. I'm like, sick. I'm ahead. We can start working ahead. We can stream. Because as you know, we've been real consistent. I've streamed, I think, 49 hours. In the past, well, aside from this week, the past two weeks. I was like, let's go, baby. We're all in. And then, you know, you know, I had to do it to him, you know. <laughs> My PC's like, well, what if I died? So, it's currently sitting downstairs in a big old box that UPS was supposed to pick up. Two days ago. They haven't called. They haven't messaged. I've heard nothing. I don't know where they are. So my PC's not even getting fixed. This is great. So I currently have big brain me. I bought a backup PC. Well, I built a backup PC last year as a last ditch effort for a backup rig, Omega Brain. So I have one. It's only one PC though. It's not a two PC setup. And so I'm testing it today to see if I'm able to stream but record at the same time because when I have two PCs, it's super easy. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. So we're going to see. Um, hopefully it's possible. Hopefully we don't lose. Uh... Well, the good news is at least this first video we're playing shouldn't be too taxing on the the, uh, the old computer. What happened with the other one? What caused it to die? Uh, PSU just straight up said, yo, I'm dipping. So I did a little, did a little tech support myself. Big brain me, you know. I'm a little, I believe it or not, I can be a little tech savvy. So yeah, I eliminated the process. <clears throat> I talk more about this on my podcast, but I figured out it was one of the PSUs. But the problem is when you have two PCs in one tower, that makes it a little difficult. And so because one of them wasn't turning on, the way it works is unless both have power, the the cooling unit doesn't work. So the gaming PC could still work, but then the CPU would overheat after about five minutes. So then that was out of commission. And the power supply thing, I called the company and I'm like, yo, send me a new power supply. I'll do this myself. And they're like, well, actually it's like a custom power supply unit. We only do ourselves and it's really complicated, blah, 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 blah. So like, we're gonna need you to ship it back. And also there might be a thing with the cooling. We need to do that. So I have to pack up this 110 pound computer that was supposed to get picked up two days ago. And then they're like, hey, you might get it back in two weeks once we get it. So great, right? Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. So here we are. What's up, chat? Uh, specs on the new PC? Oh, this one? I don't know. Not as powerful at all. Under 10 pounds be easy for you though. Yeah, you know it. You know it. Ah. 110 pounds? Yeah. Freaking beast, dude. Some more indie content. Pong. Top of the bass, man. Specs on this playlist. We train to fight Rocky. I don't even know. Shadow box down here. Uh, okay, so before we get into it, Fraggles, thank you much for the resub, as well as Officer Cynical, Sweaty Hands with a gifted sub, Dark Sage Reaper 8, Titus Andromedan, Energetic Shark 3, Dan the Man 84138, Spider Llama 1, Manda Star, and Sukai Akino. Thank you very much for the brand new subs and resubs. <laughs> 110 pounds of content. What about calming tavern music? What do you mean? What about this isn't calming tavern music? 
what do you what do you mean? <clears throat> um I was gonna, Oh uh today's video in about an hour is gonna go up on the main channel. It is that eternal return black survival that we've been playing. You guys know all the the Gamba stuff. So go show that some love. Cause it's fun. I think it's a good video. I wanna play more. And then feel free to be like, yo, it's dope watching Mr. Fruit play this live over at twitch.tv says by Mr. Fruit. You know what I'm saying? Pog waifus. That's right. That's right. Uh Mercury813 and Raid22. Thank you so much for brand new seven reset. Alright. Skirt! I got it in the music. Okay. Um so here's how this gonna happen. Uh, I need to close this. I don't. I'm worried Google Chrome is gonna take up too much. I keep it open. I'm gonna lose all my tabs though. That is unfortunate. Okay. All right. Let me boot the game. Cause this is how we're gonna test it. It's an easier game on the computer. I want to stream it. I've been wanting to show you guys, and I couldn't show you guys last time we're streaming. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what's my voice was fine. I swear to God, like five minutes ago. I'm gonna play this game. I wanted to, but there's an embargo. So I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna try and record it, and we're gonna see what's happening. Live recording, ladies and gentlemen. You can reopen it in the history. Yeah. Well. I know I can pin them and save them, but the problem is I have another tab open technically of the Streamlabs events. So that's currently the issue. Um, okay, so let's see if we can make this work. Oh, you know what I'm gonna have to do? Hold on. I think I'm gonna have to do this. Looking for a game to capture. I know I have to use game capture now. <clears throat> um. Hold up, hold up. No, that's not it. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, ho. Oh. Well, hey there, good looking. Hey, hi, how are ya? I'm great, thanks. Oh, not enough. Sorry. I'm easily distracted. Okay. Uh, fudge. Everything's wrong. What's going on with this thing? Oh my! Oh. Okay, that's better. Wait, but this one. New setup, right? Don't talk to me. Um, I kind of need to. What? Hold up! Hold up! Okay, copy this. Too many doors. Ah! Okay, and then we're just gonna. Um, mm hmm. Whoa. Do we meet again? Hello. Right. Okay, there we go. Okay. But still, slight problem. Um, still need to do this. Okay. Oh, now you can't see me. Oh. Hey, hi. How are you guys? Professional streamer, by the way. Okay, turn that off. Um, hello, that's working. This is all work. Do another door. Do it. Do it again. I dare you. Okay. So I'm going to click record and we're going to hope everything doesn't die. Um, so, okay. I click the record button. Stream, you'll have to let me know if, uh, we start to lose anything frame wise or whatever. But again, I'm hoping not, because this is a pretty non-taxing computer game, as you'll see. Oh, posture check. Thank you, Skinny Grill. Okay. okay, but also, to be fair, what's going on with my webcam here? What? My head is just so big. I mean, it normally is big, but like it's extra big right now. What's the big idea here? And it's just, it's all off center. Everything's wrong. Oh, everything's terrible. Fix that. Skirt, skirt. We're doing it live. Is that better? Am I centered? 
Mm, no, a little too far to the right. Hold on. <gasps> okay, and then we skirt, and then we just skirt. Oh, oh ooh, wait, did I mess that up? I messed that up. Okay, beautiful. And we're good. We're good. Where am I? God. Really do need it. This whole, this whole having all the alerts on this monitor, but then this mic right in front of me. So I'm like, thanks to um, Poop Poop Face One for the, the brand new resub. It's very, very inconvenient. And you know what? I've never done anything to fix it. So it's completely my problem. Uh, Mercury A13, Raid 22, Paradox 430, Spring Terror 221, Rogue Teacher 8547612, JKL, Will 22389 with two gifted subs. Will, thank you. <laughs> as well as a resub. Grim Playing Games, Senior Meows, and this is not optimal with a brand new sub and resub. Thank you very much. Um, drink the water. Someone, hi someone hydrate? Someone. J King with the hydration station. All right, everybody, join me. Come on now. He said my name, smile. I bet someone's creating poo poo face one now. Nah, somebody probably already has. Let's be honest. Uh, no one knows. With brain yourself, thank you. Okay. All right, chat. I think I've got everything situated more or less uh here's the deal so we're um okay toasted toes another hydra okay all right i guess i'm drowning uh thank you toasted lay poor thank you very much for the reset okay like i say here's what we're doing we're recording a youtube video but we're streaming it at the same time wow uh, which works because I have to explain most of it anyway. So the only thing is, um, in between games and stuff, uh, I'll shout people out, but during the game, I'll try not to, for the sake of the recording. Um, okay. Sukai Akano and Birthday Kilt, both the hydration station. There's such a thing as... Rodney the dog with a hydration station. There's such a thing. It's too much hydration. Oh, Lord. Guys, I already stay plenty hydrated. And fuzzy apples. 14 with the... Okay, so that's four hydration stations. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna pull from today's... And there's Mjolnir. Yep. We're going we're gonna to pull from the flavored water. And Jesus. Gary8860 with the hydration station and Shadow World with an emote only chat. All right. I have to make it emote only because uh, I don't think I have any mods in here. So there you go. You're stuck to emote only. <laughs> what the fudge? Okay. Energetic Shark and Drax T9001 with the hydration stations as well. Okay. What the fudge? Is that eight now? Eight hydration stations? I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. Okay, we do two swigs for each one. So that's 16. Very right funny. It's too cold. Or fluffy butt. No. Great freeze. Hold on. Okay. Ah! More hydration stations. No! Ah! We have Big Boom Boom Cocoa Butter Toasted Toes with another one. Castellan. Oh, God. I'm gassy now. Hose 301. Mr. J oh, that's a posture check. Thank you, Mr. J. Wales. How are you? 170. Good lord. Okay. Lord, I'm gonna. I'm about to disable hydration. I swear. T pose. 
Come on, everybody. Deep pose with me. A big breath in. Hold it there. That's your new posture. And rip title with the hydration. Okay. All right. I literally, I have to stop it or else I'm going to die. I literally just chugged half my flavored water. That's gone. And then, according to my gallon of water, I'm already on mark. So, I've already drank way too much. So, I hate you all. I'm doing I'm doing four more sips and hydrations. If you if you redeem your hydration station, I'm not doing it. Okay. There has to be a cool. I need to make a cool down because I will I will die. Not only that, but I already pee enough. Okay. I'm gonna pee something mighty here soon. There you go. Four big goals. <laughs> See what you guys have done to me. Now I have to pee. I'll be right back. This is your guys' fault. You all know I have like a headache now. Oh, from the brain freeze. Oh, sweet Moses. No more ladder chat. You know, keep up this behavior and I'm going to take away ladder. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm, what are you going to do then? I have the power. Uh huh. I, I hold all the cards here. Uh huh. Watch yourself. Uh, freaking Kenzie. Skinny Grub with gifted subs, Sweaty Hands with gifted sub, The Black Weave with three gifted subs, Brovid19 with a resub, Lilith Mama Bear with a resub, as well as Sunny, or Sunny Tater, and Darthicula. Yeah. Thank you very much, my dude. Okay. All right, chat. I'm sure I've been going through a rough patch. A lot. Thank you, Will. I hope you're doing well. Things will get better if you're not. Um, another posture check. Okay, well, these are more doable. T-pose. Breathe in. And out. Hold it. Climb the ladder. You know what? Why not, chat? I'll climb the ladder. You know what? You only get, you only get one step, though. You only get one step. Only one. Maybe more it's another time. Maybe that'll be like the million point thing is climb the ladder. I'm not going full cam either. I'm not giving you everything. Only one, only one though. Only one. That's it. <laughs> I imagine it's so hard right now. What's going on right now? I don't know. We, we're just a couple degenerates in here. Um, 
see this like i'm looking through my boom pole uh ace renegade 17 thank you much for the reset cornelius you know what you know what i'll tell you what i tell you what boy You not have the power. Be a, be a dutiful ruler. Da. T pose on the ladder, please. Okay. Anyway, God. Um. Fudge is going on. I have to keep restarting these recordings because I'm never okay. I am not doing anything else. We are starting this video chat. Okay. <sighs> okay. What, what am I even gonna do? Oh, right. Okay. So, Loop Hero. Brand new indie game deck building roguelike, kind of. It's sick. There's. I'll tell you what you need to know. I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna show you kind of how you start off, and then we're gonna, through the power of time, get it loop. It's all about time. We're gonna fast forward to my current save where I put, I have currently put, no, okay. I just clicked, okay, spoilers. Oh, no, that's wrong, that's wrong, hold on. Okay, see, I already have about 11 hours in this one. I can skip the tutorial, that's great. That's so fantastic. Well, I guess the tutorial is, hmm, oh, cool, okay. You get the lore here. The stars in the sky are going out one by one, but no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before. Before this too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there's absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space. Without time, without memories. Hmm. Huh? Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Cut without. Okay. I managed to break it. Okay. I've never had a problem with the game until this. Not a good start. I know what you're thinking. Yikes. But I. Clearly did something I wasn't supposed to. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I forgot this part. It's because I skipped a tutorial. Okay, never mind. I'm a dum-dum. You have to build a campfire. We must restore life to this desolate world. <laughs> dilly dilly. Okay, so... War is... I know, it's kind of confusing. Like, the whole world's gone. Or it's like... Essentially, God clicked the delete button. He's like, <laughs> lol. And so, like, everything was forgotten. Except for me, the hero, who is slowly remembering and bringing back memories. And so the idea is, you, okay, I'll show you. Okay, so here I am, I'm the hero, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna start. I'm just gonna show you the beginning of this, then we'll go into, here it is. Why, why do I say anything when my hero is gonna say it? This path. Everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I'm the worst savior of all. Let's do it. So backstory. Normally in the tutorial, you go through one loop before. So the point is, it's a roguelike because every time you lose or escape from a loop, you restart in a different loop, and the loop being, you know, this little track here. And it's brand new. You start from scratch. So that's like how they canonize whatever the roguelikeness. And then the deck building, I show you where that comes in. But from the from just here, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this and you're like, what what am I playing? Like some Windows game that came on the you know the starting disc. In the 90s? No. 
there's more to it it's actually so sick give it a chance graphics aren't everything even though they're actually really sweet once you get into it but it's just the overworld you go through loops so i'll show you there are planning phase and there are adventuring phases and i'm debating my face should probably move a little bit hold on <laughs> Ooh, ooh, we do be moving. Is that good? Is that good? Nope, a little bit more. A little bit more. Hold on. How's that? No, I can't. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Anyway. I just hype... I uh, freaking... Uh, what's that thing? Instant transmission. So that you can see up here. So again, there's a planning and adventuring phase. It's literally the click of a button. And I can tell what to do. So I click. We adventure and we go through the loop. And wait a second. On God! We found a wild slime and we must fight it. What's this? The wild slime was defeated and we received some items. We received a card and we received an item. This is where it gets super addicting. There are different classes, but the hero, which we're currently playing, has four item slots and you get randomized loot. So now I have a defense. So I get plus three shield. It'll tell you all your stats right here. Oh, cool. And then this is where the deck building comes in because I didn't really show you, but I'll show you later. You can decide what your deck is when you start and then you'll randomly get cards from said deck and each card does something different. So for instance, rocks gives me plus two HP and plus two more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain because these I build on the outskirt of the map like so. And then doing that gives me a resource, which I'll show you why that's important later. But then we keep going. I'm like, okay, I've made my decisions. Now we keep going. We fight another slime. This slime has died. Now, another important thing to note. As we're running through this loop, there are two things of importance about going through the loop. There's the loop level. So currently we're on our first loop. So enemy levels are one. So they haven't scaled yet. And that's usually around indicative of around the loot we'll get around like level one to two loot gear whatever is probably what we're going to find but once you keep going around the loop which is obviously once you get back to the camp the campfire that counts as a loop it'll go to level two and then the enemy scale a little bit then you might get some better loot but also what happens is during this loop is the day progress you can see here it's about to be a new day a new dawn which there are some things that happen when a new day comes there are cards like this a grove which i can put upon one of these tiles it says here spawns a rat wolf every two days the wolf can move to an adjacent tile so why is that important so every time there's a new day things start to spawn slimes will randomly spawn but then you actually take your deck and you build the loop that you're going to fight through. And so the longer it takes, though, the more time things will spawn. So once you populate the board more, like right now, I throw the grove in, I don't know, right before my campfire for whatever reason. Then a rat wolf will probably spawn there. But once I fill the board up more and it keeps taking longer to kill things... That means more days progress, and then suddenly, instead of fighting one rat wolf when I'm coming around, now there's like four sitting on the tile. So you have to strategically decide how difficult you're going to make it, if that makes sense. Or like a balance, because you want enemies to fight, because one, you get resources from certain things, which you can build at your base, and also gives you more times to get better items. But if you, if you go too much, you could get punished. This delicate balance and it's actually really dope and it's like it seems simple but there's so much to it and with that i feel like that's the basics i think i'm i'm pretty sure i'm caught up there so oh one other thing there's this little button 
where you can escape the loop. Because like I said, you have some resources. And currently we only have one thing of pebbles, which is absolutely nothing. But what I like about the game is there's this push your luck kind of style to it as well in the roguelike nature. So when you do a loop and you're on the camp tile, you can retreat the camp for free, keep all your resources, but the loop is reset. So when you go to do it again, you start from scratch. But you get extra gear and resources to bolster your base. However, if you f if you feel good and you want to fight the boss, which is seen here, each world tier has a different boss. And the more things you build in the world, including, you know, rocks, groves, literally anything you place will progress this meter. And once you've built enough, the boss spawns and he takes over your camp. So you have to fight him. So if you think you can take him on, then you keep going. Or if you do one loop, you know, it's like loop nine or whatever. And you're like, that was pretty tough, but I think I can make it one more and push my luck to get even more resources. You can do that. But if you die, you lose 60 or 70% of your resources. So you only, I think you only get to take home 30%. Or at any moment I can run, but it only keeps 60%. Now I feel like I've covered all the basics. So now that you understand that, let's um, transition like Batman to, to my current world. Which is it's like same song. Oh, okay. What have I done? Hold on. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I love uh this game. Okay, blah 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 Considering before in the last world, we only had a single campfire. I have grown and populated this world. And the way you do this is there's like a whole, it's not like a, a skill tree, but there's all these places you can build in your world, which have different varying effects on how the game progresses. So for instance, the refuge, I believe. Yeah, it unlocked a new class, rogue. The farms give extra bonuses. The herbal, and the thing is, they give bonuses. They can unlock new cards, um, like the supply depot or whatever. This is kind of like the roguelike part of it. I can equip things that give me passive bonuses now. So like this one, plus two max HP for every point of defense the hero has, or plus one HP for every food item placed in your camp, which currently I have uh, six. So I have 6% 6 extra HP. 5 HP every time the hero equips a new item. All this different stuff going on, and I can upgrade this to equip more. The items, or some of the buildings themselves can be upgraded. They're very expensive, but they have great benefits. All around, it's fantastic. Again, I'm about 11 hours in, and I'm in love. So, if we go over here to the expedition, though, you'll see when you start the game, you have chapter one. This is the first chapter. In order to complete the chapter, you have to defeat the boss. I defeated that boss. Then you get chapter two, which you'll see here makes everything harder. So enemies in the first world have zero to one abilities. But now all enemies have one to two abilities. Their strength increases. Their growth per loop increases. However, you do get bonus resources for going through this new world tier. So it's, it's not for not. Like, it's worth it. And then there's a chapter three, which I think is the last one. I'm not sure. I haven't fought this boss yet. This is what I'm currently struggling through. But I've also unlocked three classes. We have the hero, we have the rogue, and we have the necromancer, which you'll see here. All have different things, all have different items. Freaking bada bing, bada boom. And then you have your deck. This is where the deck building comes in. So all this is not available immediately a lot of these i've unlocked because of the buildings i've placed but you build your deck usually too according to your hero so like maybe the hero is actually better at fighting big waves of enemies so you want little dudes 
but that can make a whole bunch, like maybe spider cocoons, and then you fight those. But maybe you're rogue and you only want to fight single, slow attacking people. So maybe I make more skeletons with the cemetery or something. It's, it's big brain. And there's, there's a lot to it. And I don't even think my build currently is perfect. But that's fine. Because it's, it's all about trial and error. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going with the... Actually, you know... Where is it? Oh, I already took it out. Hold on, let me make sure. Let's think. See, I could show off the hero, but ironically, I'm kind of the worst with him. But then again, he does show the game off probably the best, huh? I'm just so bad with him. I'm really bad with him. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Screw it. We're, uh, we're going with the hero. And I hope it works. So we begin. Um, enemies here have two to three abilities. And abilities suck a whole bunch. So that's not good. They have plus five strength. They grow 4% per loop. But I get 80% bonus resources. So we begin. And you'll notice here. I immediately start with some basic items. That's because I bought the smith or something in the forge. And on top of that, I've unlocked this thing called gold cards. Again, you know, I'm kind of progressing further on in the game. But these are dope. You can only have one of them, but they usually give you a pretty cool benefit. So this one creates an additional item slot. However, that new item slot loses its quality by 15%. But so you see here, I only have these four items. I place it on my map. Where do I want to place it? Mm, sure, right there. And then I unlocked a helmet. I've never done this before on the hero, so we'll see what the helmet can do. But it just means extra additional slots. And actually, the thing though is it comes with pros and cons because the con is you now have more diverse loot. So you might be trying to find a certain item, but now the, the loot pool is kind of... Mm, it's broadened so it's less likely you're going to get what you want to get that give and take D diluted I don't know why I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of here anyway I'm going to place a village which heals you upon entering very nice but also gives me a quest give me a quest so you'll see I walk in here and then it smites this slime and all that essentially does is he gets like 200% HP but if I beat him I usually get a reward and it says here, quest goal, plus 200% HP. But if you ever want to know what the thing you're fighting does, it tells you right here, it's HP, it's damage, it's attacks per second. What it counts as, like artificial life and liquid. The liquid matters because that's what resource you'll get from them. The artificial life might matter with certain buffs and whatnot. And then he reduces armor with corrosive structure. Sticky body is just, you know, you know it's it goes deep. It goes deep. And then, obviously, the sound of the cock-a-doodle-doo means that the uh, there's a new day. But I'm going to go ahead and place my rocks. We got a weapon, which is not better than what we have. But we got a helmet, which gives retaliation damage. Four. It's very nice. So, whenever I get hit, they take five damage. Stupid. Easy. And then, there's the vampire mansion. Which I always use, and I feel like it always bites me in the butt. And because of that... I'm going to ruin it here. I place it here, and then all the tiles it affects. Whenever I fight something, it adds a vampire to it. Which is not easy. Because vampires, as you'll see here, they spawn a swarm of bats. They have lifesteal. They're very annoying. But they can give you some good gear and some resources you can't get otherwise. Which I'll show you here in a second. But... And we actually got pretty lucky. We found a straight up item, which is usually pretty rare. So it raises the chance of finding a rare item by 10%. Freaking sick. So if I were to go home, these would be waiting for me. But we got some new items. There's rarities. So like gold and orange are the rarest. So this one, we lose one defense, but we gain evasion and vampirism, which is essentially lifesteal. This 
damage goes down, but we get more life steal. This one, same amount of retaliation damage, but counter? <laughs> Duh. This one gives us defense and Uh-huh, sure. You know what? Boom. So we do a little less damage, but now all of our attacks heal us for 14% of damage now. Then I can add a thicket, which I've unlocked. When you place this, it gives me 2% hero attack speed. Very nice. We add some rocks for HP. And then meadows heal you for a set amount of HP at the start of every day. So currently it's only three. And you want to place meadows next to items because then they turn into blooming meadows. Because a regular meadow only heals you for two HP at the start of the day. But blooming meadow heals you for three. Big brain. And there's a reason I'm stacking the rocks is because rocks get more benefits dependent on how many rocks or mountains are around them. And then you can add other stuff like spider cocoon. Sure. And sometimes there's like rhyme or reason to how I want to, you know, place the board. Like, do I want to stack enemies here? Or do I want to kind of pace them out and then put like villages in between to heal or give myself a break or blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to put a grove there because we might get a blood grove later. You'll see why that's important. And another thing too is I also unlock a thing that gives us experience. So we can level up and get little perks for this run. Another thicket for increased experience. Uh, we could get even more vampirism, but I think I'm good. This one gives us extra counter and evasion though. I'm kind of feeling that. And we press forward. It's a new day. A spider spawned. Spooky. And he died very fast. So this one gives us no, nah, no. Nah. That's what it gives us. Nah, I don't want it. I don't want it. I do want to place forest though. Give me some increased experience. Swamps. I forgot. I kind of want to take swamps out. But for the time being, I'll place one here. Why not? And then a lot of these too, like for instance, the grove, even if there's not an enemy on them, going through them can give you resources. It's all very forehead, all very big brain. So now we're onto the loop two, which means they're getting a little bit harder and we might get better loot. None of that was better loot. Oh, here we go though. So this does six to nine damage. Nice. But also adds magic and defense. I'll throw that on. Early on, it's hard to figure out what kind of a build you are, but it seems like you definitely want to... You really want to invest in one or two things later on. And my problem is, with the hero, I just never know what to focus on. But with rogue, I just go, like, full evasion. And with skeletons, I just go, like, skeleton level and, and quality. Summon quality. Easy peasy. And I know most of this is... I'm just making nonsense. But trust me, the game's so addicting. And it's so much harder, too, because, like, imagine in that first world when you fight a vampire, he has, like, none of these. None of this. He doesn't have bloody pets. He doesn't have bloody thirst. He doesn't have ringing in the ears. He doesn't have... He has, like, 10% vampirism, and that's it. And so just, you know, not only statistically do they get stronger, but then they get these abilities that make it all much more difficult. But at the same time, sometimes you can use that to your advantage. Again, it's a big brain game. And you guys know me. I'm not big brain. So it's a struggle. But we're definitely throwing this on here. And this. Less max HP. But we get regen per second and vampirism. And regen per second is dope. It's because right now we have 0.5. And you'll see here. So every second, we get half a health, essentially. And we can stack that. So instead of having to go to a campfire or a village... We can still passively heal. And you'll see here, the reason I put a grove here is because we can put a blood grove next to a grove. And then all enemies next to a blood grove automatically get smited when they're 15% or less HP, which is nice. And you're going to see here, though, we already got them double cheeked up and stacked. So this is a good idea. I don't know. This is always where I kind of falter. But the thing is, the hero can get damage to all perk which no one else can, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Whenever you damage somebody, you do X amount of damage to everyone. So you can be good at like clearing a lot of ads at one time. 
And usually my hubris gets the better of me and I die. Um, but hey, we got enough XP to level up. So now I get to choose a perk. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile, which would be these things. Defense is increased by one after every loop, or every morning the hero's sword is filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to deal two times damage to all. Blade of Dawn is nice. I'm not going to lie to you. But it only happens every new day. But that is nice. But you know what? I'm going to do skilled armor. So for every loop, like we just gained two because we've done two loops. Moving forward, every time we do a loop, we get one free defense. Sign me the heck up. And we have another vampire mansion. Which again, I feel like is a debate. But I'm going to put it there, I guess. Because specifically a swamp. Interesting thing about when you fight in a swamp is lifesteal effects actually hurt you. So a vampire can only kill himself like that by healing himself. So it kind of makes sense. Ooh, look at this nice little hat. Gives us extra retaliation damage and some evasion. Why not? This one gives us a lot more HP and evasion. And then I don't want to change my weapon. I'm going to put another rock here. And I'll explain why I'm putting my rocks like that, too. In a certain position is because... The cool thing is the game doesn't really hold your hand. You literally just play. And then figure out things as they happen. And so... I've had to do a lot of that myself. Like, it doesn't tell you. So, like, for instance, if I place another village, I know that a bandit camp will show up randomly on the field. And I know if I put ten rocks in play... A goblin camp will show up somewhere on the map. And I know if I put nine rocks in a formation the first time, it spawns a big mountain. There's all these kind of things you don't know at first, but you learn by playing. And it's sick. That's why I already, I've already i already kind of learned some of this stuff on my own. I'm liking this retaliation damage. And so that's that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to put the swamps over here because, again, vampires will hurt themselves. Ah, I feel like I'm going to regret that, but that's okay. Why not, right? Ah, we're fine. We're getting all the loot. And you'll notice here, I'm about to overflow on items. And what happens when that does happen is I actually get resources then for the weapons that get thrown away. So they kind of get recycled. So it's actually a good thing to try and recycle things. And in fact, if I had too many cards, I could recycle. But I usually don't do that. Just because I want to place down most of the, the cards I have. But so that's why there's a lot more to it too, especially like when you're building your deck for certain classes. Like what will offer me the best advantage for this class? against this class, so on and so forth. So we got a new card here to show you. A beacon gives you 40% movement speed within this range and 20% attack speed for all units. Which might be like, well, you're just giving everybody attack speed. What's the point? The point is, it lets you get through things quicker. So when you're running through the loop, you're faster. So the day doesn't progress faster. You're just getting through it quicker. And your attack speed might seem... Like, what's the point? You know, you're both getting the same amount of attack speed, but it makes the battles go a little bit quicker because day still runs when you're fighting. You see what I'm saying here? So we want to get the most value out of our beacon, which is pretty much here. And then I want to spawn another village, but you have to be careful. I learned if you put a village next to a vampire mansion, the vampires run over the village, and that's not good. All these little things you learn. So instead, I will put... One right here in between these two big battles. And see? Bandit camp is spawned because we place two villages. And then for every two more villages, more bandit camps will spawn. And bandits prefer villages, so they'll always spawn by one of your villages. And if there's too many bandits in a village, they also take over the village. So, again, there's this very fine balance. But I'll keep placing this stuff. I love attack speed. Who doesn't love attack speed? But see? You also just learned if you place down 10 forest tiles, it spawns a village, question mark? But it's not a good village. This one will spawn a training dummy, which you'll see is not fun to fight. 
They're not fun to fight at all. But we'll start whacking these guys. Need a better ring, but there's not really a ring. I want to get this better. But look at us counting, dude. They don't even stand at you. Oh, well, that's a lot better. So we don't get magic or defense, but this is just raw stats because it's two levels higher than our current weapon. Yes, please. And this gives us a whole bunch more because it's four levels. Yes. And then watch this. We place down nine rocks. Da da da. You do it in a three by three, you get Mountain Peak, which gives you a whole bunch of HP. But it spawns a harpy every two days. Good and bad. Good and bad. Now, important to note, I've tried it. You can't make more mountain peaks. As far as I'm aware, I've tried. You can keep doing three by threes however you want, but it's only the first one. But I also place my rocks in meadows like this so I can get the blooming meadows because meadows next to each other don't activate blooming meadows. Again, I know I'm going through a lot. You just got to trust me. Because I, you know, been there, done it, seen it kind of thing. Learned from my mistakes. Well, actually, I've just learned from my prior mistakes. And the game is so addicting. You finish one loop, you're like, all right, I should get off. But maybe one more. And then it never ends. So we get extra damage to vampirism, but we lose damage to all and some attack speed. But that's okay. And I don't want to replace that. I want some more of that. Now, here's the thing. I want more base HP, but watch as I place this. A goblin camp spawns, which isn't always necessarily a bad thing. But there's also a card you can get called Oblivion. You can use this to remove tiles. So if something comes up you don't want, or like, let's say later on, I'm like, you know what? I don't want the vampire mansion anymore. Take it away. Or you can use it on a tile, even if it's empty, but it has like five monsters. And you're like, I don't want to fight that. Remove it. But it's important because you only get so many Oblivions. They're harder to get. So you don't want to use them willy nilly. And so right now I'm going to save it. Because I don't think it's uh, necessary. But we completed another loop. Very fun. We get another, oh, we get another quest. And we get a gold dirk. Less damage, but it gives us invasion and vampirism. And honestly, yeah, sure. For the amount of damage we lose... It's nothing crazy. An extra evasion is never bad. I don't like getting hit. You understand? So now we fight our first goblin! And the first time you encounter people and stuff, there's all this exposition. Holy cow. That's a big upgrade. We're going from level 2 armor to level 5. Don't mind if I do. That's a lot of extra HP. And that's a level 5 shield. Don't mind if I do. Because I'm pretty sure this orange is like the rarest. Usually has the best stats comparatively. And then we keep going and we find ourselves a harpy. As well as a vampire. Lovely. Ooh. Ooh. Lots of stuff. So, and each one usually has some sort of theme. So this like wing looking shield will always give attack speed. This one will always give counter, I want to say, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I think we need another village. That wouldn't hurt, but I can't put it there because it'll be overrun by vampires. So, you know what, I'll just put it over. And we go forth. The loop never... Oh, jeez. Okay. We got lots of spiders and stuff to take on. And we get another level up. So we get 10% chance upon hit of stunning target for one second. Not bad. 35% chance to perform a counterattack during evade. If we spec into evade, that could be good because then we just get free counterattacks. Or damage is increased by 20% of defense value. Honestly, the stunning seems pretty good, especially if I increase my attack speed a whole bunch. We do have this that gives us extra defense, but 20% is going to be a little negligible. So I'm going to go for a stun chance. I think that can be pretty big. It can be pretty important. So I'm just going to keep stacking the rocks. And 
Uh, keep praying that we stay alive. I need some more region. Because we're starting to slowly lose a whole bunch of health. And... See, I want to put... I should have put the grove there. Hmm. There's just so much going on right now. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna oblivion the swamp I put there to put a grove there to put the blood grove there because now these tiles are affected by the blood grove 50% or less HP they get smoted smited whatever very important very important we got a level 4 hat we don't get the 11% counter which is honestly retaliation damage is good but sitting at 30% counter, about one in every three hits we counter is pretty good. Oh, and also, this is why I hate the villages. Wooden Warrior. He has a 100% chance to counterattack. And when I hit him, I just take damage back. And he just gets extra defense. Very annoying. He always counterattacks. It's the worst. I hate it. But it's fine. And even though I said... Counter is good. I'm just I'm just putting on the raw retaliation damage. I don't even care. You know, why not? You live and you learn. Just keep placing down all the good environment stuff that helps us. I never really see a problem putting down more forests, rocks, meadows. Of course, there's an adverse effect that will eventually spawn more goblin camps or bad villages, but meh. And I'm just... Oh, pooping on them. Oh, my God. Get destroyed. Get some more attack speed. Get some more HP. Ah, but see, there we go. We spawned another goblin camp. And I don't have any obliterates or oblivions. So this is not optimal. But we're currently gaining 35 HP a day, which is not not much. Not when we have 1,050 health. So I could really use some regen for a second or something here, Chief. We hit the campfire. That heals us. Good bit. Thank you. Oh, they're about to ransack this village. This is not good. And you want to know the worst part about bandits? 5% chance to destroy a hero's item when attacking. So they could just randomly destroy one of my good items. I hate them. But it's fine. Because 5% chance. Never going to happen. See, I still got all my items. And then we keep going through the endless loop. So I think my problem is I just put too much on the board. I still haven't found a, the right balance. Because like you can already see, it's already getting very crowded. Because as it takes longer to kill people, longer to move around the thing. More days spawn, which means there's always like two, three, four people on a tile. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Level six. We don't get as much damage to wall, but we get a lot more HP and defense. That's fine with me. I like health. Health keeps me nice and alive. Be gone, evil slime. Oh, I stunned the slime. See, big. I stunned him again. He's in stun lock. Okay, he's fine. Okay, so we got a blue. What does this do? If we don't, we lose a lot of our counter. But we get a lot of attack speed. And I am specking into that since we get the stun, right? So why not? Battlefield is a very nice item. It's unfortunate this is my first one. So every time you do a loop, within its area of effect, it'll spawn a treasure chest, which gives good loot. However, enemies in the area can turn into ghosts, which means you kill something and then you have to kill it again. And then you have to kill it again. And sometimes you have to kill it again. Which is really annoying. But again, the ghosts, for instance, give resources you couldn't otherwise get from other people. Oh my god. And this gives us another retaliation damage and 10% attack speed. We're at 47% attack speed. We do be attacking, though. But see, I don't think I've ever won with an attack speed build. Then again, I've never won with the hero. I've actually won all the worlds with the necromancer or the rogue. I, I'm just not good with the the hero. You know, he's just not my dude. But I'm not going to let that stop us. 
That's an excuse. Remember to hydrate. Oh, we got lots of meadows and rocks, so you'll love it. Oh, and a forest. Don't mind if I do. Extra health. Extra health. Extra region. Extra region. Extra health. We could use a better weapon, though. Currently lacking that. What is this? Okay, that's actually worse. Give us the meadow. Oi, me. See, suddenly we're losing health real fast, too. It just goes from zero to a hundred so quickly. Fudge. I made another village. Bad village. I need regen, bruh. I got none. And now I have to fight two of these things. Oh, sweet heaven. Ah. No, can we kill them all? We're nuts. And then granted, Vampire Mansion with the Blood Grove was a big brain play. I hadn't done that before, but it makes a lot of sense. Oh. What is this? So we get defense and more evasion. Which, honestly, we should probably do. Because we're taking fat damage. Um, this, however, gives us a lot of damage to all. I'll do that. And screw it. Maybe I go evasion. Maybe I try and be aloof. I doubt that'll work. But that's okay. Regrets. I have plenty. See, I'm just always living on a prayer. Like, look at my health, bro. It is just plummeting. We are in shambles right now. That's what I'm saying. Hero, for me, I'm like, oh, okay. Wow, this run's going pretty well. And then in half a second, I'm like, oh. What happened? It's not going well. We could get 11% more evasion. I was kind of invested into attack speed, but screw it. Let's try not to get hit. Yeah. And this gives us even more. Screw damage to all, even though... See, this is the problem. I'm just undecisive. I think I just screwed myself even more. You know, who really knows? I'm going to place a tower over... Uh, here, I guess. And we go. Okay, now see, it has been going pretty poorly. Now the question is, do I think I can do another loop? Quite frankly, no. I'm not so sure. So do I risk it all and we try and keep going? Or do I say, you cut our losses and say, you know what? Okay, you got me. I'm dipping. It does look pretty bad, doesn't it? Huh. You know, since we got these two items, I'm a dip. So I get to keep all these resources, which is very nice. Because now, you'll see here, we have this whole thing. This is important when you want to build new stuff. I accidentally dismantled my cemetery once. Not a good idea. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. Still trying to get that back. Anyway, uh, I can make another warehouse. Not quite, but I can make uh, some more mud huts for my residents. Can make more farms. Gives us... Rations, watchtower to help me at my camp, forests. I actually don't know what putting more forest does, but I just do it because it looks cool. River, I haven't gotten to, but that seems important. Library, I can't, I can't afford most of these things because these are the more expensive ones. But you bet when I can, it's going to be great. And you know what? I'll make another farm. Yeehaw, brother. Um put you put you right there yeah look at all those farms and then can I level and no can I? so I did receive some new equipment though so honestly attackers receive one damage after every hit I kind of like this I already have one of these 
This is 20% chance to find a rare item. That's pretty good. Um, plus 10 max HP. That's actually kind of butts. Quite frankly, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll get rid of that and put that. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can fit. Oh, I can fit one more. Oh, wait. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Sure. So there's some passive stuff we got going on here. I could even craft some random stuff, but I need to save my supplies because I need to build other things. And we'll go again. God. You guys make me want to peace so much. All those hydrations. What well, um, I'm trying to figure out where we left off. Uh, lay poor. Oh wait, now I got you. I got you. Um, skinny grub with two gifted subs. The black weeb with the three gifted subs. Brovid nineteen with a resub. Littlest mama bear with the three. Sunny Taylor with the sub baby. Darthicula with the two, as well as Ace Renegade seventeen. Kalik twenty one. Season 5406 with a brand new sub. Cam Bam the Low Man with a five gifted subs. Thank you very much, Cam. Appreciate you. Thanks for always sticking around. Kyle Haas with a resub. Enerio623 with a gifted sub. Daffim Stone, Curse TFK, and Peachy Mango 204, <laughs> as well as Fire Drops. Thank you very much for the subs and resubs. All right, chat. <laughs> Urinate so we can see ladder. Okay, yeah, it's very funny. Speaking of which, how's Jamie doing? How my tendies doing? No, 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 no. Is this on Steam? Never heard of it, but it seems interesting. I think it came out yesterday or today, but it's sick. On the outset, it might be like, what in the world? But then you play, it's so addictive. We're going to do another run, and I'll interact with you more this time, chat. We got the recording one out of the way, more or less, even though it was a bad run. We didn't get that far. But I didn't want to die. I guess I should have pushed my luck knowing that it was for the record. I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do. I, who, you know, who knows? Enjoy the ladder. Oh, I also need to heat up my French toast.
No more ladder for you. Got pops and pills, yeah. Get those <laughs> antidepressants. I swiped right on that ladder. Ugh. All right, chat. Who do we pick? Do we go hero or warrior? Sorry, rogue or necromancer? Which one? Yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's looking... Try to get a successful warrior. Bro, I just suck with him, and I don't know what it is. But everybody wants Necromancer. It was, it was pretty one-sided. Um, look at this. This is going to give us a free resurrection. We like that. Now, as to what to build with... A necromancer? It's a good question. We don't want too many enemies because it can take us a little while to summon things. Because, see, spiders spawn once a day. That's a little too much. See, skeletons every three days. That's nice. Scarecrow every four days. And it helps the villages heal me more. Not bad. Mosquito every three days, not bad. Um, <clears throat> There's a grove every two days. I don't want to do vampire mansion. I think attack speed in this case means I'm going to summon faster, so that's good. I don't need to take 15? Yeah, I know. I, I usually sit around 12 anyway. Mm. Battlefield is a must. Chrono Crystals. Me. Yeah, that's, seems pretty good, right? Decent amount of fights. Sure. To battle. Now I'm going to place the ancestral crypt. So we get uh, HP with us with souls, but um, no HP bonus from armor. The necromancer doesn't even um, have an armor slot. Get destroyed. So lamal, 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 lamal. We just get a free resurrection. What's not to like? So where I can't I can't even equip these. Yeah, okay. Now we get going and I will show you what the necromancer does. Pretty self-explanatory. He spawns skeletons. And as long as he has room to spawn skeletons, he won't attack himself. But then if there are max skeletons out, he'll start attacking. But you don't really rely on that. That's why I'm saying it seems like his attack speed, that little blue bar, is when he is when he's gonna summon a spoopy skeleton, right? So better attack speed doesn't seem bad. In fact, this gives us better attack speed. And skeleton level, skeleton level is sick because you'll see here, like this skeleton has 18 health and eight damage. But when it's it can get up to like I had like level 9 once and it was like this skeleton has 60 HP and like a billion damage and then summon quality is sick because it means you, you have better likelihood of spawning better ones there are I don't really know how to describe them there are ones which by the way you can attack or stack two rings on the necromancer there's one with like these claws and then there's one that can taunt that one's really good so when he's summoned, the enemies all have to focus him. But 
Uh, oh, there it is. See, yeah, the skeleton warrior. So the higher your quality, the more likelihood every time you spawn, it's gonna be a better one, obviously. Duh, Mr. Fruit, we're not dumb. Sorry. Uh, meadow, let's get a cemetery popping. And then your amulets are important because, hold on. Should I just go higher skeleton level? Is that attack speed right now? Nah. More summons right now are more important. Um, you'll see I start with like this blue health that they're hitting. That's your magic shield. So it's nice before you can start summoning things, you can absorb a little bit of damage. Spawn all that goodness. Well, as I say that, I could, you know what? Screw it, okay, I'm a liar. We're gonna go with summon quality because now we're at 28%. Look at that, first spawn is a warrior. Let's get it. Freaking pooped on that dude. Took a dump on his face. And that was one loop, easy peasy. Now we keep doing it. Oh, look at that summon. We'd still... We'll just stack the quality, bruh. Oh, and we finally get a treasure chest from our battlefield. Look at that. That gives us some evasion. This gives us summon quality up and skeleton level. Heck yeah, brother. Why wouldn't I? Sharkboy97, thank you much for the five gifted subs, Sharkboy. You're a real one. What is this? Oh. You know, I was all about the summon quality, but now... We could hit one and a half skeleton level. Fudge, it's great. I'm alive. I'll put a swamp over here. Uh, Gibraltar... Gibraltar Mammoth. Thank you very much for the brand new sub. I'm sure I butchered your name. Apologies. We could spawn a Blood Grove. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Just make my minions do the work for me, dude. Easy. A village. Don't mind if I do. Where am I going to put it? Right there, obviously. Very optimal. For reasons. Get some more HP. Don't mind if I do. This is our quest, Slime to Kill, but yeah, he stands no chance. So you're going to see, so... Skeleton level is now 1.78. So see, now 28 HP, which is what, about 10 more than I had before. And 12 damage, which I think is 4 more than I had before. I don't know exactly how it scales. I just know they get better. So, I level them up. And it makes me feel like I'm playing Pokemon or something. Go, level 8 Skeleton Warrior. Well, I choose you. Oh, there he is. There's a the big boy. Skeleton Guard. First target. So, he has like a taunt mechanic. He doesn't do much else. But that's all I really care about. Let's be real. I want him to take hits for me. Thanks, boss. And now we get free loot. More specifically, we get... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Summon quality. Yup. And this is going to be way better. Almost two skeleton levels. 24%. Oh my god, what are we looking at? 68% summon quality. And three... Bro, we're going to have double cheeked up skeletons. Look, first one. Of course it's a warrior. And then, of course, it's a guard. Look at that. I think those are the best you can get. That's all that really matters. Holy. I could just level them up this much. <sighs> kind of hard to pass up, right? I mean, that 24% summon quality is crispy. But see, like, I have to do the math. At, like, what point... Screw it. At what point does... Having those better ones spawn more often outweigh the levels, you know? And honestly, I don't know. But as you can see, uh, they're ready to poop on kids. Because now, see, look at this. 54 HP, 25 damage. And he was just like, what? 18 HP, 8 damage? Boom. Boy, don't care. 
My skeleton is dummy boned up. And I think my French toast is done. Let's get it. Looking at the ladder. It's shy. <sighs> Guys are always so sad to see him. Makes me feel loved, you know? Alright, French test acquired. We can't fail this rum. We're gonna beat it. Everything. Um. Honey. Ooh. Another battlefield. Love is a battlefield. Oh. It's not even fair, dude. We're smurfing right now. Skeletons are playing for keeps, bro. I haven't done a 12 man raid yet. I want to. I've been trying to. Now, if I put my wheat fields next to my village, 
the village mount heals me. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's not worth it. Yo, give me something good. It's a mimic. Oh my god, that's good. Holy. <gasps> Bro, we literally keep our skeleton level, but add the summon quality. GG. It's over. Not even fair. What is this? We could add a max skeleton. But for now, no. My two skeletons are doing just fine. Let's add beacons though, can we, so we can zoom zoom. See, I don't think attack speed affects the skeletons. Because it seems like no matter what, they always have the same. I think really this does affect my summoning so time. Ooh. Max skeletons and evasion. Hmm. Uh, fine, I'll go there. I'm sorry. We'll get the quality back, don't worry. Oh, skeleton archers, what the? Wait, that's new. I never had those. Nah. Ooh, that is a really good attack speed, though. But I want my quality, bro. Thank you, King Jar. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's easy clap. Just free region. Why is the Necromancer so much better than the Warrior? Oh, we get a free stat. Okay. You know, I've never understood this. 0.5 times loop HP. That makes sense. For an adjacent roadside tile. While passing a tile. I don't know. I guess just kind of as I walk, I get something. 20% 20, 20 chance to exceed the number of skeletons and summon two of them during the last summon. Or another resurrection charge? Hold up. Two resurrection charges? Heck yeah, dude. That lets me push my luck for free. For free? Well, I accept you. that free attack speed. Oh, we get a weird village. That's okay. Because see, yeah, I, I just increased my attack speed to a couple percent, and there's still 0.63. I think it only affects me. I think the only way I affect my skeleton stats are literally skeleton levels. What is this? Nah. That's whack. What do we have here? Skeleton level down. We get some good stuff otherwise, but no. No. I must maintain quality. Um the other thing. That I can't think of right now. Oh yeah, just leveling quality. That's all I know how to do. That's all I need to do, right? Give me free stuff. Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, uh, we get rid of our summon quality though. But it does give us nearly 
full level on our turn. Ah, but we are we are at 420 skeleton level. Do I really want to mess with that? That's tough. Really stressing the new graphics setup, I see. Um, what does this do? Yeah, alright. Fine. Got the levels over five now. Easy. Quality is down to 25%. Unlucky. But, you know what? Something had to take a hit. Oh, oh, well, sick. Skeleton level plus 1.62. <gasps> yes, please. Almost level six skeletons. He's just getting my life. Oh. There's a lot of skeleton levels. But then we have no summon quality at all. Screw it, baby. We're all in on skeleton level. Six, six, six. <gasps> That's cannon. I can't mess that up either. We're hitting the 420s, the 666s. Six, six, skeleton level, I could go higher again. Max skeletons do seem pretty good. But YOLO. I just ruined the 666. Level 8, though. My skeletons be dummy thick right now. Holy cow. Not even fair. Wait, okay, let's see. A pleb. A pleb skeleton. 91 HP. 38 attack. And then if I could somehow throw quality on top of that, dude. Gonna stand a chance. <gasps> wow. It took me forever to get nine of those things. But see, the Necromancer is super good against these villages because I don't take any damage. 27% summon quality, though. Okay, fine. All right, we'll go back to 666. This way, at least, we have a quarter chance of getting a better one. I want to see what their stats are. one anyway, so I can't, I can't. screw me with my summon quality, huh? Gotta be Omega higher just sucks, I guess. Oh, there we go. 50 attack. Woo. Screw you, Scarecrow. What did Scarecrow want? A heart? I can't remember. Does the lion want courage? No. The tin man wanted a heart. Right? A brain? Big brain. That doesn't make sense. Oh, level six. Magic HP's up. Attack speed. Re but no skeleton level, dude. What do I look like, bruh? Ooh. Higher skeleton level. Yeah. Oh my god, level 8? What's it? Oh my! 
Plus 6.64. Give it to me. Almost level 10 skeletons. That's fat. That's the stuff we like to see. Level 7 of this, huh? What does this do? Yeah, nothing. You know, I could almost maybe... Dude, I'm almost level 10. I can't stop now. What is this? Skeletal summon quality. Should swap that, right? Because it also gives other things. Yeah. See, those are so good. You get best of both worlds, but freaking raw levels, dude. What are they doing now? 104 health, 50 attack. LOL. This guy's doing 67. Almost two times a second. Or, wait, no. One time? Never mind. Math's hard. Okay. What do we got here? I need skeleton levels, dudes. None of these give me skeleton levels. This does give 12% attack speed, I'll take them. That puts us at 36% attack speed. I mean, for summoning skeletons a third faster than usual. Heck yeah. Found some silverware, my favorite. See, all the skeletons just tank everything for me too, dude. easy clap but I like the game so much too because it's like a card building or a deck building roguelike auto battler and I'm addicted to all those things right now so oh baby oh baby that's real nice get another beacon out from even summoning the boss but first two skeletons summoned in a day will be strengthened nah plus one to maximum number of skeletons maybe 20% chance to exceed the number of skeletons and summon two of them during the last summon is pretty cool but I'm just gonna go to maximum number for now I can't fit them on any of my items right now. What is this? So we loot. The skeletons go down, but to be fair... Yeah, why not, right? Now every other skeleton should be dummy fight. Uh, CWK789 Panini Spaghetti and Bane's Bane. Thank you much for the subs and resubs. Okay, this fight is taking forever. Good Lord. 8 does little thing. Because every time, every two times they attack, 
They can't be targeted. For a turn. See a ghost turning into a ghost? It's a ghost of a ghost. Oh my god, that hurt. Okay, thank you. A mimic. Wow, he actually hurts a lot. Oh. So we actually we lose like 0.3 in the skeleton level, but we get 15% evasion. That would put us under eight. Yeah, whatever. It's probably smarter, I guess. Man, me, I'm smart. I'm making the Amazon over here. Holy, what the? You no, know, dog, I heard you like Grimoires. That's poo poo. You'd think for level nine it'd be so much better. It does give a lot of attack speed, but nah. Sky drill, thank you very much for the resub. Eight months, it's an insult to the five years of YouTube. You make me sick. We could get Omega summon quality. But then how much do we lose here? Skeleton level is going to go below 7. I'll be in shambles. Screw it. Not worth it. I'd rather gamba! What was that noise? What just happened? my favorite anime? I don't know if I have, I don't know if I could say my favorite. Oh. I do like Attack on Titan. I mean, what's my favorite? That's a good question. Nature will rise against you. Easy. Okay, we gotta make another village. Can we go here? Wheat field, wheat field, forest, yeehaw. And the French toast is done and was delicious as always. We actually have another village. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Put you here for now. You make me feel like a natural woman. So we could actually keep our summon quality and gain another skeleton. That seems pretty good. We lose. A little bit of skeleton level, which to be fair, they drop below eight. I don't know if they had to hit like even numbers like that, like six, seven to. 
I don't know, four max skeletons though, sounds pretty dope. Wait a second. And that sucks, only one max skeleton. That's, that's the only stack you give me? I thought that high of level, you might be like two max skeletons. In which case I would've been like, maybe. But nope. You stupid. But we please. It takes a lot to summon this boss because every tier you have to build more, more stuff on the field in order to be able to summon them. Um. Oh, that is a lot of them. Where'd they all come from? Oh, oh, but we got the tanky boy. The summon quality coming in huge. Oh, level eight. We lose summon quality, but we get back skeleton level. It always feels like an internal fight. All right, skeleton level. We're over nine, baby. We just saw how good summon quality can be, though. Ah, my horn. You know? Look at us, four skeletons, though. Come at me. You couldn't even if you wanted to. That was not the best chest I've ever seen. Man. 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 Look at all of them. Mine. 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 What does this do? Uh, no thanks. What about... Nothing. Okay. I care about two things in life. Three things. Food. Skeleton level, summon quality, summon 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 quality. Whatever. Oh wait, no, it's not even as much as the other one. Imagine like level twenty skeletons, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. My, I like that. Skeleton level 11. Easy, dude. Yeah, I'm a simple man. Give me my levels. Give me my summon quality. Clearly, I favor the, the levels. Like, what is it? 121 health, 58 attack. And I summoned four of them? Yeah. Catch my tie. How about that? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I could start putting them next to the forest. <laughs> I guess save these oblivions for when something just seems too... can't though this one's too good but man ah ah no 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 we're level 11 i never want to dip under 11 again the bare minimum of my plus who cares about summon quality at this point when i'm when i'm cranking out four of them like this you know what does it matter except when the harpy is attacking me and all my skeletons help me okay thank you Oh, not the rogues. Don't you dare destroy one of my items. Okay, all right. You're taunting. That's my boy. That's my boy. Never mind. Easiest game of our lives. I don't know why I was worried. We're about to level up again soon. Very exciting. And the thing, too, we still have two resurrections, too. Um, yeah, no thanks. Phoenix Soul, thank you much for the reset. Long live the Compton Dilly Dilly. What the fuck? Wait. 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 What? 
I look over to say thanks to Phoenix Soul, and we lost all of our help? I didn't have a taunt, dude. Okay, screw this. We're going... We're going quality. I still have reses, but what the fudge was that? Summon quality. Yup. Screw that. Excuse me? Look over my health. Like, what? what why do I have... What, what? Hi, this is Amy, and I'm giving you a call from the Auto Service Center. Shut up, Amy. Oh, yeah, I got a call yesterday from some number. I was like, alright, let's see what this is. Like, um, this is an automated message to let you know that your lapse of uh, payment for your energy bill uh, is expiring, blah, 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 with, and then they named a. Uh, an electrical company. And I'm like, I'm sitting on the phone. I'm like, babe, who's our, who's our um, electrical company? So I'm pretty sure it wasn't them. And as I say that, I just hear the phone go boop, and they hang up on me. <laughs> it was not the insurance or electric company we had. But wait a minute, he's on to us. So what's the point of these? Shouldn't it get to like? Plus two scout or something? No. Guess not. Okay. Alright, thank you. See, I need more of these taunt dudes because if they start hitting me, everything hurts. Three strength and skeletons will be joining the hero in every loop to help battle. After killing an enemy, skeletons fully heals itself. Its damage and HP are increased by 10% until the end of the battle. Or after Hero receives direct damage. All skeletons have a 50% chance to immediately perform a counterattack. Horde seems kind of useless, right? Like, I summon skeletons every battle. I don't get it, right? So it's, I think, in between two or three. I don't know, chat. Which one should we get? Do the counter so you don't get murked again. That is true, right? Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. Be like, minions, protect me! They hurt so much! Please protect me! Protect me! Okay, thank you. They just killed him, that works too. Attack speed and skeleton level. That's pretty good. A lot of attack speed. Nah, I think we keep it though. What is this? You know what? You know what? Boom. 79% summon quality. I'm all in. My skeleton level went from 11 to seven, which is kind of depressing. But as we realized, that's clearly not everything because I get destroyed if I don't spawn taunts. So I really don't feel like I even have a choice at this point. Was it level six book? Are you trying to, are you insulting me? Are you trying to? Because it's working. I'm offended. I think my board might be getting too full. Oh. Wasn't it the goblin camp that absolutely pooped on me? Screw you, goblin camp. There's a, oh my god, there's, an, there's three of them on my wheat fields. Oh, fuck. Screw you guys. Clearly, I have a problem with goblin. Okay, so I'm just gonna, gonna leave it there. But these next ones, oof, they best watch out. Oh, look at this. 
Five max skeletons? I don't even know if I can summon him that fast. They're focusing. Help me. Oh, we spawned the taunt. That's huge. That's huge. Yo, spawn. I want to see. How do I? Where's the fifth one even fit? Wait, can I? Did he even spawn? Some quality. Oh. I was, then my skill. Although, to be fair, at that point, I'll have 100%. But I lose a whole bunch of skeleton ones. Eh, it's probably not worth it, right? Probably not. Probably not. Taunt away, my friends. Oh, I got a little archer back here. Look at this dude. Uh, oh, wait a second. Oh, that's better than what we got. And what's this give us? No, no. St I still need some skeleton levels. I missed when they were level 11 though. Oh. They were something else, weren't they? Holy items, Batman. Okay. Yo, we're gonna kill this thing? Okay. An old frying pan. I thought you never would. This... I need summon quality and level. Otherwise, I can't... No. I gotta keep my five skeletons, bro. Too strong. See if I have enough time. Oh, my level... Uh, sorry, summon quality and max skeletons. My text speed is 93%. Bro, I'm churning out skeletons. Watch this. Boom, skeleton. Boom, skeleton. Give me a boom, skeleton. Oh, what's that? You want to know? Boom, skeleton. And now I get to attack. Whack. Freaking whack. Oh, no, I need to spawn one. But even I'm getting in. Oh, my. Okay, that's trolling, right? Yeah, because at that point, what does it matter? I would only have three max skeletons, and I'd spawn them so fast. But is that a bad thing? But then the quality goes... Yeah, no. Okay, that's a little greedy, I think. <sighs> I do want to do it, though. Bro, I just be crazy. Boosh, 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 boosh. See, like, this is a healthy... Well, I guess I don't need four right now, do I? Okay. This... W somebody gonna do something about this dude in the front who is literally one-shotting everything. He's hitting me. Okay, we got a taunt. Big boy. What is this? Some quality 29%. Eh. Okay. Come on, whack him, whack him, whack him. Oh! You want him whack me? Skeleton level, but we lose the summon quality. So we get 20% attack speed. But we need the quality. Oh. Oh. Much better. I'm going to call these up, but it can't art. Skeleton level. So pathetic. Okay, I, I need, I don't know what, I need dummy thick skeleton level and quality at the same time. You know, I don't ask for much. Where am I putting this village? Put it by some fields I already have, I guess, so. Sure. Was it just seven flat? No, no. Oh, we got archers on archers. Get them, boys. Wait, they're attacking me. Yo, boners. Boners, take some shots for me. Yo, where are you at? What do I pay you for? See, summon quality and skeleton level. Just... You know what? No, screw it. Screw it. 84%. 
whatever. Not big levels, but I just need taunts. Give me a taunt. No taunt. Give me a taunt. There it is. That's all we care about. Another taunt. Another one. What is this? The region is nice, but no summon quality. And I just worked so hard to get high summon quality. So, yeah, I wonder if we hit 100%, there's like a new Omega skeleton that just like poops on them, you know? Maybe, maybe not, but. Oh, they hurt. Stupid counters. That's right, they can't directly hit me. That's all that matters. Okay, they're destroying my army. Come on. Please. What the fuck? Literally unkillable. Oh, I'm not doing this again, goblins. But there's still... Oh, wait. And that's a bandit camp. Wait. Why are there still three there? We got a lot of bandit camps. Oh. I think I'm gonna lose. I think I'm starting over extend, chief. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove that stupid thing. And I'm removing that stupid thing. Okay, you know, it was looking so good, and then there was just the legendary goblin dickin. Who could forget? And that's when everything just took a horrible turn. It was looking so good, and then just... You know? Just... I See, I had 11 skeleton level. Now it's only 6. It, it clearly came out of price, though. Okay, that's big. Yeah, take all these hits for me, guys. Thank you. Oh my god, the bandits are destroying my stuff! Wait, but they're not hitting me- they're, They keep destroying my things! Bro, stop it. Wait, what did we just fight? And why did it go like- <laughs> This is not good. I'm glad I need all these resurrections, and I don't have any- Regen, so I'm really not gaining any HP back. Okay, alt level 10, that's gotta be good. Nope, not for us. Never mind. I want a meadow there. Oh, Lord. Save me, Tom Cruise. Save me, my friends. Oh, but now I've hit. Oh, now I'm getting in on it. Screw you. Oh, and they killed all my dudes. Never mind. I'm out. I'm like, you know what? I'm back on the bench, coach. Dude, these fighting these stupid wooden things actually takes like eight days. Turns out at loop level nine, they are pretty good. They're pretty good. Who would have thunk, huh? Good lord. Okay, we poop on this dude, though. In the last. Okay. Alright, Scarecrow. Not worried about it. He just one-shot my... What? How much damage? He's doing 102 damage. Okay, yeah, suddenly, my skeletons suck. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. Screw it. Some quads gotta go down. They need to be. They're still in level seven. Nobody's doing damage. You know all is going down here. I'm panicking. I feel like we were getting lucky items, and then it just stopped. It all stopped. I thought I was gonna take on the boss. It was looking good. Now I don't even know if I'll make it to the... Okay, okay. Wait. I might have to give up on my attack speed dream. It is a nice dream. But... Uh, yeah, I... Summon quality's up. 
This kills me a little, a little bit. I, I need it. I need it. I can't help it. I want to summon them fast. I do, but I can't. Or else I will die. And I don't want to die. Get him, Shane Man. But see, it takes us even further to hit this. Ooh. Ah, but am I really gonna retire the run? No. Of course not. Unless. Uh, no, that's. Oh, wait, what? No. Yo, what if I. Can I surpass 100% summon quality? If I'm wrong, though, and I feel like I would be, it's not going to work out very well for us. It's probably best I don't mess with that, right? Yeah. Plus, we finally have regen. Okay, I accidentally passed campfire, so if I wanted to retreat, don't even have the option. God, these things never die. Holy items. How do we get all those items? Almost none of them are helpful. I think I still need the region. Well, see, this is pretty good, and we would surpass 100%. We just don't have any more region. And the skeleton almost falls a good bit. Great. You know what? Science. Summon quality is at 112%. Something cool's got to happen, right? Where's my Omega Skeleton? What is this thing? What's going on here? Ow. Yo, he's hitting me. Yo. Yo, boners. I already regret this. What the fudge is this? What's going on over there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's terrible. That was not the play. It was not the play. You would think the 112 would be the play, but it wasn't. We don't do any damage, lads! Oh, panic. Panic. There's nothing I can panic with. Ah, we're boned. Ouch. Uh-oh. <gasps> Might just be what we need. Skeleton level? Only 10. Alright, boners. Yo, what happened to that like counterattack when I'm getting hit? Because I'm taking a dick in right now. Okay, boys? Okay, lads. Come on. Whack him. Okay. Okay. You know, we've just been getting bad RNG. Skeleton level stonks are through the roof. And attack speed. Screw summon quality. It's letting us down. Which one do it? Okay. Screw it. Skeleton level. We're, we're back to almost 211, baby. I don't have any health. I don't have any regen. But I don't need it. <laughs> we're totally gonna die. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Don't... Okay, as long as they don't target me... We are in a better spot. What is this? What is this? This is defense? Well, now like I'm going to invest in the defense. Get him, boys! Oh! What do we have here? Skeleton level. You have 7 point something. And a max skeleton. And regen. That'd be five skeletons. What skeleton level are we losing? About one and a half. So we'd be at 
nine and a half. <sighs> no. Ah, but the regen, though. But it's not even that much regen. What is this? I can't touch summit quality anymore. I've already put it through the dumpster. We could. Uh, well, what is this? Oh. I think I think the region even though it's a little bit it might just be enough worst case too I can come back to this for summon quality I don't know I have a love-hate relationship with summon quality right now because it's hey hey speaking of summon quality summon the taunt oh my god if they target me at the beginning of the game I just I fold I am a brittle old man there's four of these things oh don't make me die. Help! Help! Oh, I got it. Oh, look at this, dude. I got a skeleton mage? That's new. Why did I summon him? I don't even know why I summoned him. Why can't I do that more often? Yo, where are my skeleton mages at, bro? Okay, suddenly we're looking okay. Okay. Yo, I need some more of this magic. Where are my mages at? Okay. I like treasure. <laughs> but I did just spawn blood pass. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Bro, I'm not even close to getting to the boss. If I even wanted to try and zerg him, bro. <sighs> Wait, did I, did I ever look at this? What's this give me? Skeleton level. Ten. No, it's not as good. Well, it, was it? it does give regen. But my skeleton level is already kind of sad. But regen. No, no. No, no, no. Trust in the process. Trust in the process. Oh boy. Oh, they even have a skill. I'm getting focused. Oh. Spawn another taunt. Spawn another taunt. There we go. Another one. Oh, my. oh no. No, no, no. No. I'm back, baby. This is my last resurrection. Let's get it. I, I, I ain't even worried. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got... What is this stuff? Summon... Summon my anus. Regen. Regen. Pog, pog, pog. Skeleton level. Skeleton attack speed. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, it ain't over, baby. But it ain't looking good. Oh, I can't spawn... What the fudge, dude? It looks so good, and then it doesn't. Suck. Fish one one two two three three cybers psycho one twelve grandma grandpa piss and in swain. Thank you much for the subs and resubs. Fudge. Lost so many resources too. Six percent campfire healing. Screw you, dude. Can I build anything? I build another farm. I have enough stupid farms. I build a mud hut. You already have one mud hut. I, can, I still can't build. Fudge. I think I could have been able to buy a river. I just didn't die. 
But guess what? I did. I could have bought back my cemetery. But guess what? I died. I could have bought Lumberjack. But guess what? I died. Yeah. Watch. Sag. Sag. Like if you create if you tell me. Like if you create every to me. All right. I'm going rogue this time. I'm going rogue. We're winning with rogue. DC's do it. What? But wait, wait, should I choose? I'm going to go arsenal. I don't know. Maybe that'll work. All right. Necromancer just turns out to suck. You know, that's who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me unlock this. Which gives us a necklace. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, we're cracked already. Oh, actually, that's kind of huge. Okay, so the thing with Rogue is I don't get any items from drops. Instead, I get trophies. And then when I hit the camp, I get items based on the amount of trophies I have. So I think I only need, what, 11 trophies in order to maximize it. If I'm not mistaken, I could be. But I think that's how that works. I really need to stop putting those battlefields next to each other. It never works out. Give me all the attack speed. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, fudge, I got items. I should probably equip them. Okay, level three boots. Evasion. Love that. Seven to ten damage. Look at this. Dual wielding. Give me the damage. Um, what is this to get magic HP? Uh, that's not better. Oh, that is. Yeah, it's one HP script. And then I do like sure. Yo, screw you, doubters. Will fruit reach the boss? What the fuck? That's the thing. Doubt. Doubt. What? It should be will fruit die because I pressed my luck too much. Get into the boss. Yo, whoever's a believer, you're crazy, dude. I mean, shout out to you homies, but... Doubt! <laughs> we believe? Okay. It's Rogue, dude. I haven't played Rogue on this stage. We're gonna kill it. We're gonna kill it, dude. <laughs> Suddenly, everyone starts investing in doubt. It's like insider trading. You should doubt. Actually, see what I'm doing? Pump and dump. I'm pumping... The doubt because I know I'm gonna win, so all the believers are gonna get the fat payout. This one's for you, homies. That's the real big brain play. That's one put. Yeah, God, I hate these stupid blood clots. <laughs> <laughs> 